Hello there, my name is Dr. TJ Ammons. I'm the owner of Champion Adjusters. Uh, my website is championadjusters.com. And I'm also the author of the book, How to Get Started, Get Work, and Make Money as an Insurance Adjuster. Decided to make this video because there's a lot of new people in insurance adjusting, a lot of people that may have worked a year or two years, and are still trying to get their firm foundation in the industry. A couple key tips that I think will be helpful for anybody that's uh, looking for work in it as far as an insurance adjuster. Uh, first thing is if you're brand new to insurance adjusting, make sure you contact the big four companies that hire new adjusters. It's no use of applying to companies that don't hire people without experience. That's the one thing you're going to find out when you start applying for these companies. They're like, hey, go ahead, send your resume in. We're looking for two years minimum starting out for our positions. And guess what? You're brand new. You're not going to have any experience. You're going to get frustrated. So the thing is to apply to companies that hire new adjusters, all right? Here's a list of those companies. Pilot Catastrophe, Eberls, E-B-E-R-L-S, uh, EA Renfro, Crawford & Crawford. Now, they don't specifically, specifically look for brand new adjusters, but you have the best chance of getting hired with those companies because they're some of the largest insurance adjusting companies. And so uh, since they handle a lot of contracts, a lot of claims, sometimes they're looking for a large number of adjusters to settle their claims. Next uh, thing you want to do is to not look down on uh, staff adjuster positions. So if you're brand new to insurance adjusting, take a look at the staff adjuster positions that are available online. Go to Career Builder. Uh, Monster, look at Liberty Mutual, Allstate, State Farm, all these companies because guess what? They have great training. It's pay training, and uh, usually the salary starts between fifty to sixty-five thousand for property adjusters. I think auto adjusters is it's a little lower, but you can get your uh, foundation there. You can get great training, and guess what? When that opportunity comes, if you want to work cat, guess what? You're going to be fast. You're going to close a lot of files. Uh, you're not going to get your files kicked back because you're going to have that experience that many adjusters don't have by working on staff. I remember I started uh, on the cat side, then I went to work for. Uh, on staff at an insurance company and when I hopped back into that next catastrophe uh, opportunity man I closed so many claims I made so much money it was due to the great training that I had on staff working for an insurance company directly so don't look down on uh, staff adjuster positions I know you hear about the big money like oh I want to make twenty thousand dollars a month like hey that's great but if you uh, don't have the experience sometimes or if you don't have the skills you're not going to make that money anyway even if they give you the opportunity so good, good training. Uh, and also the independent uh, adjusting companies like Pilot Catastrophe, some of these other companies do have free training, so you definitely want to take advantage of that. Next major thing you want to do is get your state farm certification. I cannot emphasize that enough, your state farm certification. The reason why that uh, separates you from many adjusters, and also state farm is one of the largest carriers, and they have a lot of contract positions that are available all over the U.S., and so if you get started, you can get an adjusting position, property position, say, in like Winter Haven, Florida, I believe, or Jacksonville around there. They have a huge call center there. And, I mean, their starting pay is like 450 a day or something like that, 420 a day. They do an hourly thing, but it adds up to around 450 a day. And imagine making that much money starting out in a brand-new field. It's amazing. Uh, so definitely get your State Farm certification and get it in property and in auto. When I first started insurance adjusting, I was like, oh, I don't want to get involved in auto. But what I realized is that, hey, when a hailstorm hits, hey, you might have 10,000 houses affected. But, hey, you have people that don't even live in houses that have cars that have auto insurance where they have claims. And so now you have maybe 100,000 cars where you have 10,000 houses that are affected. Just think about it. More work, a lot of work opportunities for auto adjusters. So definitely get State Farm certification in property and in auto. Uh, next, uh, once uh, a storm hits or something like that happens, if you're uh, on a roster for one of these major companies, this is what you need to do. You need to call them at least three times a week. reason why is sometimes they get uh, new contracts in. They're looking for people. You happen to call. They're on a search. You kind of meet what they're looking for. Hey, guess what? You may be able to get an opportunity like that. I remember I, I harassed one of the uh, companies when I was brand new. Like, hey, I need a job. I need a job. I'll do anything. I'll drive trucks. If you... <laughs> If you need to drive trucks, I do ladder assists, I do all these different types of things. And guess what? They called me uh, to work an assignment in Pen uh, Pennsylvania, and I thought, I was going, oh, it's going to be like a two- or three-week assignment. Uh, and there was three other people working in the state, and the person that had the least amount of experience there had been in Pennsylvania working for two years. So there's a lot of great opportunities like that, but you have to call. You can't just wait around for a phone call from these major companies. If it's a smaller company, like a smaller cat adjuster company, don't call them three times a week. They're going to be annoyed with you, and then they're not going to give you any work. But if it's a major company, 
one of the big four I mentioned earlier, definitely give them a call. Those are a couple tips to get work. Um, I mentioned more tips in, in more detail in the book, which is um, how to get started, get work, and make money as an insurance adjuster. Hopefully, uh, you get the book. It'll help you out. I also have some good tips, like if you are an ex, uh, a working adjuster already, some great tips as far as to get great customer service scores, how to get more deployments once you're deployed and have, build good relationships to get calls back. So uh, that's my video for today. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, my website is www.championadjusters.com. Check it out. I'm on Facebook as well at uh, facebook.com forward slash champion adjusters. Uh, you guys have a great storm season. Hopefully you get work, make a bunch of money. Comment on my video um, below. Like me on Facebook. And I definitely want to just give you guys more uh, great videos because I know there's so many people out there looking for work, but there's so few opportunities compared to the amount of people that are looking. And so you have to know where to look and you have to know how to apply for those positions to get the work that you're looking for. All right. Signing out. Happy adjusting. God bless.